Good morning, guys. Well, not much of a good morning, is it? It's just really, really windy. It kept me up a lot of nights. The wind is... I'm sure the tent was going to blow away at one point. What he could have done. Note to self, must make more of an effort on learning how to pitch a tent properly to avoid monumental amounts of wind. I think I put I think I made a mistake of putting the tent basically side on to the way the wind was coming from. So it's getting battered. Anyway, we are off today to heading towards Donegal. I hear the weather's a bit better up there. I just can't wait to get off this island. <laughs> so windy. Um, I think the plan today is we're going to be off the Wild Atlantic Way for a little bit. So we're going to be heading inland towards Loch Callan and Loch Con. And then uh, from there, it's gonna, I just need to make a little detour into Foxford to pick something up for my nephew. or well, hopefully, anyway. And then up towards Ballinar, where we'll pick up the Wild Atlantic Way Trail again. Up into Sligo, then heading towards Donegal. So, yeah. I'll bring you back when... I'll cut back when... Uh, we get somewhere that's a little less wet and a little less windy. See you later. Bye. So the wind has cleared. But that could be because we're more further inland. More further? Because we're further inland. The rain has shifted. And if you look in the right place in the sky, you can even see a bit of blue sky coming out. Woo! So we've had a bite to eat. Not that you're really that interested in that. Ow. Now we're heading over to Loch Con and Loch Cullen. There's a sort of little bridge goes between the two, and there's a viewpoint there. Uh, I'm not too sure how far away we are yet. Probably another 10 miles, maybe. Anyway, so, um, I shall see you soon. This here is Loch Con. Behind me is Loch Cullen, but it's tiny, you don't see a lot of it. It's quite big. I think it flows down into the River Moy, which then goes through Ballinar and out into the Atlantic. Yeah. Quite pretty, and the sun's coming out. What more could you ask for? So we just um, hit Foxford, so I was looking, for, went into the mill to look for my nephew's sort of teddy bear, well, a similar one, 
they don't have it, so. I'll try and lie, maybe. We'll find something else for him. But now, I'm, um, since I've been here before, I'm the one that's leading. Now, last time I led a group of um, bikers, I ended up, well, we ended up in Rygate when we were aiming for Loomis. Completely the wrong direction, so... <laughs> if I end up in either Rygate or Loomis today, that'd be an impressive feat. So we're heading towards Ballinar now where we might try and get some lunch and a coffee or something. And then we're on to Sligo where we'll sort of pick up the trail again. So until then, I shall see you later. Bye! So we've just come through Ballinar, heading towards the border of Ballin of um, Mayo and Sligo, where I where sort of our stopping point, or one of our stopping points are. Um, we're down another rider now. Mr. 08 Ride has Mr. 08 Ride has decided to go home now. So, I'm sorry, Ride. Um, it's been a pleasure, buddy. Hope you have a safe journey back to Dublin and then back to Yorkshire for you. Um, yeah. So, when we get to the next stopping point, um, I'll put you back on again and you'll see what I can see. So, right for now. So we've come through Sligo. That was a bit confusing. And we're now heading up to Ross Point Ross's Point. To see whatever the view is. Then we'll have to go back on ourselves to hit the uh, next bit of the Wild Atlantic Way. Oh dear, this is so yeah. Is point. Now we're gonna head off towards camp for the evening. Hopefully with the weather like this, we set the tent up, it should, such words, give the tent a bit of a chance to dry up. That'd be nice if they could anyway. Yes, yeah, so we've got about 20 miles to go before we get there. And then tomorrow it's into Donegal. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm tired. 
if any luck, I should sleep well tonight. <laughs> anyway, see you when we're near the campsite. Ta ra! It's a pretty cool mountain range. Is it a mountain range or is it just a mountain? This one here. It's pretty cool. That one there. I wonder if you can actually get to the top of that. Or is it because it's on someone's land you can't do it? Oh, I wonder that about most of the mountains over here. So a lot of them look climbable. They're just a bit long to do. Right, that'll just take a bit of time to do. I think it's getting to them in the first point. Yeah. Random thoughts.